Have you heard of an audio deepfake? Back in 2019, a British energy firm did not know about this, and they had a thief steal $250,000. You probably already know about visual deepfakes, right? Deepfakes where uh, a person is digitally transplanted. One person's face is put on another person's face. Here on TikTok, we have this Tom Cruise up, account. Disney has done this in Star Wars shows. Think about what a machine needs to understand in order to make this happen. The, the AI, or, or machine learning system, needs to know what the source face looks like from all angles. It needs to have a sense of the 3D geometry of the person's face, how it moves through the world, how it responds to light, how, what their face does when they emote. It literally needs a, a skin-deep understanding of the person but a similar technology can be used to analyze audio and this is not theoretical like i mentioned at the beginning in 2019 a company was called the employee answered the phone to hear his boss say on the other side transfer 220,000 euros to this firm and urgently and the employee was like what's the account number i'm on it boss so within the afternoon that money was gone for good now should you be imminently worried about this? Like, are you gonna get a call from a scammer this afternoon that sounds like your mom? Probably not. And remember, you need lots and lots of photos to teach a, a visual machine learning system how to understand a person's face. For, for now, thieves are probably gonna target people who are public figures with lots of publicly available audio to train the machine learning models on. That's only true for now, right? Ever since the iPhone 8, Apple has been including neural engines in their processing architectures in your phones. These are chips specifically designed to run the kind of machine learning calculations that are used for these purposes. So like, think back to the deep fake, right? You need to understand the 3D geometry of a person's face and how it moves over time. That's literally what like Memoji does, what the Snapchat filter does, what all these TikTok filters do. It's not out of the realm of possibility that within a couple of years, almost anyone could be capable of an attack like this. There's a more insidious lesson in this uh, in this attack. This wouldn't have worked if it was just a peer-to-peer -peer call. Only the boss can demand this kind of protocol-breaking urgency uh, that would bypass traditional checks and balances. Put differently, a deepfake attack is more effective when an attacker impersonates legitimate authority. What many people don't know, or what many people haven't processed yet, is, is that the propaganda that we are viewing is, ex is, is evolving with a similar technological backbone. This is a similar mechanism to what Cambridge Analytica practiced with Brexit, used with Trump as documented by the Mueller report, and what Russia and Trump's goons are currently using to foment racial tension, spread the big lie, and spread COVID disinformation this information targeted to an individual, targeted on the individual level, because Facebook knows more about you than the 3D geometry of your face. 